Hi, fr hi friends, I'm sorry. Hi friends, so I'm so excited today that I finished my first mixed media canvas, but it's literally not a canvas. I actually made it in a canvas paper. I can, you can actually call it a canvas. A canvas paper, somewhat like a canvas, yeah. And this project, I should say, is actually inspired by Grace Cial, I think, and Gabriel. Most likely, I know all craft friends of mine must have visited Gabrielle's channel and she has uh, posted a video of making one of these um, canvas that she made. So I thought, why not? Let's try making one. So the model, I actually googled her and found it online. You can also see it. If you just google fashion figures, that's what I did and I got this picture and so let me tell you how I made it so the the paper here is actually a white canvas paper 12 by 12 white canvas paper that I got from Joanne and yeah so all the products that I have used I don't actually remember the products I have used so all the products I have used I will list it in the comment section I mean the description box below you can check it out so what did I do? So this is a 9 by 12. Let me keep it here. Yeah, this is a 9 by 12 canvas board, and I have actually pasted it to a distress um, black color black suit 12 by 12 paper, and I have actually framed it. And the background, I actually painted it using a uh, Lindy Stamp Gang pink color I think it was uh, cosmopolitan pink uh, from one of her collections and the stamp that I have made here these stamps I actually got it when I got these Faber Castell gelatos so yes I I stamped it using I think it was worn lipstick worn lipstick from distress ink and I have stamped it the whole background and these are uh, something I stamped using penny black uh, daffodil, daffodil or some flower stamp and I have colored it using distress inks in uh, mustard, yellow, I mean wild honey and tea dye and um, crushed olives. These background stamps are from uh, garden rose stamp that I got from scrapbook.com and yeah so i basically cut out a heart shape and i have painted it in victorian velvet color and just outlined the edges using uh, the stella markers the wink of stella markers in brown color that i got you have you can see it in the previous video i have edged the um, i mean edged the sides of the canvas uh, using the tea dye stain. No, no, not actually the vintage photo stain from Distress Ink. Yeah, the style I wrote it down myself and I have actually uh, filled in, filled it in with uh, the liquid pearls from Rangers. And I have added uh, the glitters, the stickles in diamond. And uh, these chipboard pieces are actually from Itsy Bitsy that I got from India. And I have colored it from the Versa color bamboo bamboo leaves. These are from the Versa color bamboo leaves. And this particular wood piece is from Sa Crafters. Let me show it to you like this. Yeah, this is from Sa Crafters, and I have actually painted it using um, what Galaxy Gold of uh, this Dewdrop Pigment Ink. These flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have actually painted them using color bloom, color bloom spray from Prima. Yeah. And this is actually the color, the yellow rose that I used. I told you in my previous video. And the butterfly is also from the Garden Rose collection. I have uh, stamped it and fuzzy cut it out. And the dress. That's the main thing. So the dress 
I actually made it uh, from I think two or three flowers I used maximum of three flowers as you can see this is uh, the dress is made out of flowers mulberry leaf flowers I mean mulberry paper flowers this is a different type of flower and all the flowers are from recollections I got it like uh, maybe a year or two back and I have actually never used them so I thought okay fine I'll use it in this so I was so inspired by the videos and the uh, photos she posted that I thought okay I need to make it now so I just made them immediately so everything was done in like a day or two as you can see I have colored them using Lindy Stamp Gang uh, flat Fabio colors again I will post everything in the description box below so I have edged the dresses in diamond diamond sparkles from stickles and again painted them in um, this one was painted using I think it's what is peony from Prima and I've edged in a pink color I think rose bud color from color box this is the again the girl's hair was colored in squeezed lemonade, wild honey, and tea, tea stain, tea dye from Distress Ink. So I've used the markers here. And I've actually colored her whole body in a light brown color. I don't know if you can see it. It's a light brown color. I've added a bangle and a small ring too. And the waistband is actually from um, a ribbon that I got from India so so guys this is the first canvas that I've given a try something other than my layout or the quilt project that I do so leave your comments below and I hope you really like it so let's see in the next video thank you bye